Hare Krishna. Question from Sunil Prabhu. What is the difference between Arjuna's consciousness in 1.35 and 2.8? In 1.35 he is saying that he doesn't want to fight even if it is for gaining the three worlds, what to speak of the earth. Then in 2.7 he surrenders to Krishna. And then again in 2.8 he says that the grief which is sapping him cannot will not be overcome even if he attains the three worlds. So, before surrendering and after surrendering, uh, what is the actual difference? Does the, has the surrender made any difference to Arjuna? Answer, there are phases in Arjuna's development of thought. So, he comes uh, prepared for war, 1.20 describes how he, is, one, uh, uh, how he has raised his bow and is about to fight, but then at that time, he tells Krishna, please take my chariot in between the two armies. And then, when he sees Apashat, Tatra Apashat Tanpa, so he says, when he sees all the warriors, especially his relatives from various generations assembled on the war field, he is overwhelmed by compassion. Kripaya Paraya Vishtu. And then he starts giving various reasons why he should not fight. And at that point, uh, one of the reasons he gives is, if some if says you will get you will win, you will win so much. He said, what is the use of winning so much if it is at the cost of uh, what is the gain? The loss is far greater than the gain. He says that the loss and the pain from the loss will be so great that uh, the gain will not be any tangible thing. That's why he said, I won't want, want to fight even for the sake of uh, attaining heavens. Now, now, after that, he continues that reasoning from one point, more or less one point thirty on thirty one onwards, till the end of the second chap, first chapter, and even in the second chapter also, initially he is continuing that, when he says Katham Bhishma Maham Sankhe in two point four, how can I fight against Bhishma and Drona? Uh, better that I live by be begging instead of live on the spoils obtained by their blood. But then in two point six, he says. That I don't know what is good. Nachaitad vidmaha kataran no gariyo, yadva jaye me divano jaye yu, yaneva hatva na jiji vishamas, te avasthita pramukhe dharthrashtra. So he says that I don't know what is good and what is bad because I am, uh, I, whether I should win or whether I should die or whether I should lose, none of, none of the options are palatable. And therefore he surrenders. And he is prachamitvam dharma sammudha chetaha. So, I, I ask you, Arju, Krishna, what is my dharma? Please tell me. And then after that, uh, he says, now, some, uh, often people are told that if you are feeling, if you are feeling miserable, just go out and enjoy. Sometimes when people get depressed on their jobs, they are told, oh, you just take a break, go to some hill station, uh, have a life, enjoy, and you come back and then you can resume the normal grind. So, Krishna, there, that means, here when 2.8 Arjuna is saying that no, I will. I don't think this grief will be going by winning even a heaven, what to speak of the earth. So his point is that he wants knowledge of dharma. Prichamitvam dharma sammudha chetaha. So whereas initially in the first chapter when he says that even the obtaining of heaven is not of much use, will not be of any use, there he is talking more from the point of view of <clears throat> at his level of consciousness, at the level of uh, his level of reasoning, he is saying this is not a better option, that is a better option. So initially he is more or less in the, he is more or less made the decision that I will not fight. Whereas in 2.8, his decision is not that I will not fight, his decision is that I need enlightenment. I need what is knowledge. And in an unenlightened way, even if I act, and even if I succeed, still that will not serve the purpose. So, whereas the statement in 1.35 is more based on a profit-loss calculation at a material level of consciousness, where Arjuna feels the loss <coughs> of one's loved ones will outweigh the profit of gaining a phenomenal kingdom. Uh, so, he says, I will not fight. Whereas, in 2.8, Arjuna is saying that 
unenlightened action no matter how successful will not lead to any happiness leave alone happiness it will not lead to even the removal of grief and therefore i will not act without enlightenment so whereas uh, <clears throat> 1.35 was a part of a whole set of arguments against fighting 2.8 is uh, not a part of that argument 2.8 is an expression of one's resolve to not continue to live in an unlightened enlightened way but to stop everything else for the sake of gaining enlightenment so 2.8 reinforces the request in 2.5 prichamitvam dharma sammudha chetaha so i ask you what is dharma please tell me without knowing what is dharma without knowing what is the right course of action nothing else even the most uh, outstanding success for for a warrior in terms of attaining uh, conquering the heavens even that will not dry up my grief so it's a fervent fervent expression of the absolute necessity of enlightenment and the utter inadequacy of anything else uh, for uh, acting as a substitute for enlightenment so therefore although what arjuna is saying is at stake or what will not solve the problem in terms of attaining heavens the, the statement he is he is saying in 1.35 and 2.8 are the same but the intention is substantially different thank you hare krishna